everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a small streamer. This one is a small CDC streamer. It's a really easy fly to tie. It only has a few materials and will represent a um, small brown trout that is a really easy prey for big grayling. So here in the vise I have this Hanak H550BL. This is this hook has a really wide gape and also this long straight part here it's really really good to tie streamers on it so you could also use it for nymphs or anything like that but for this one I'm going to use it as a streamer hook here in front I have a 3mm tungsten bead in the color coffee which is a little darker copper and really complements this fly well as we will imitate as I said a small brown trout so this color is really really perfect so here about 13 turns with the lead free wire make sure to use lead free as the lead wire is really harmful so then just a little drop of glue and I will push it up inside the bead and this will lock the bead in place and also add a little more weight to the fly and it will also help the fly to stay upright if you would have all the weight here as the tungsten bead just in front you will get more jigging fly and if that's what you want you could cut down on the, the wire wraps here and just have about half of it then the fly would be more heavy in front and as you will fish it if we when you pull on it it will go up and then sink down really fast as this tungsten bead is quite heavy or if you would like your fly to go near the surface you could just take this tungsten bead away just go with the wire or leave out any weight at all another really cool product you could use for, for these flies is the magic heads and this is just a little plastic cone that you could put in front and as explained here you could have it either with a cone facing forward and this will give a more wiggling motion to your fly or you could push the cone back over the materials and this will give a more streamer appearance so let me know if you want me to tie any flies with these magic heads and I'll gladly do it but now back to our little trout here to secure this wire and to start off the fly with a base coat of thread I'm going to use this 6 aught uni thread in white I always start here at the back it's the easiest way you just tie it in and then a few turns over the wire and then back down again this will secure the wire and at the same time make a coat of thread where you can tie in all the other materials then. So now we're here at the back again and we'll tie in a tail. And here you could go with a lot of different materials but for this precise one I'm going to go with CDC. So here I have a tan or beige CDC feather. All you want of this is the fibers. So we'll take away all these fibers here first from one side and then turn it over and we'll take the other ones and now you will be left with a little bunch of CDC here so we'll tie this in you want about one and a half the length of the whole hook so tie this in right here at the back and with a few heavy turns and then go up the whole length of the body and we'll try to bind down these fibers as much as we can then we can cut off the excess continue winding up right up to the bead and now we have the tail tied in and these CDC fibers will give a lot of movement to the fly. The tail will then flow really well in the stream. On our way back, I will tie in some small copper wire. One neat thing is 
just to stick it right inside the bead and this way you won't have any problem tying it in so then we'll tighten the whole length of the body and then back up again really tying this in and making a nice uniform coat of thread here and now as we don't need this six sort anymore we can just whip finish it and cut it away for the rest of the fly I'm going to use the nano silk from Semperfly 80 knot in beige so we'll start this at the bead and take it down cut off the excess and then go down right to where you tidy in the tail and here the main material for the body or the whole body will be only made out of dubbing and for this I'm using a mix between three different dubbings so the base is this hard dubbing in the color March Brown which is a nice brown grey color and this uh, particular hard dubbing has a little longer fiber so I really like it and then um, to add some UV material I'm going with this ice dub in the color Calibatis and this one is this grey, light grey dubbing with a lot of UV material in it and the last dubbing is this SLF in the color flu of fire orange and this is the dubbing that will really represent this brown trout it gives this orange shimmer to the fly and once it's in the water it will resemble a small brown trout so what I've done here is I've mixed the three materials together and if you're going to tie a lot of flies so it suggests you you mix these in a coffee grinder but here for the purpose of this video I um, only tied a few so I mix these by hand you want quite a lot of dubbing on this fly and the idea is that you will really overdress the fly then rib it through and then we will brush out all the dubbing and this will really give a neat look to the fly instead of just doing a plain dubbing body or instead of doing just a plain dubbing body that's really thick and compact we will have a lot of living materials that will really move in the water so the easiest technique that I found is instead of winding up the usual way I will spin the fly and if you don't have a rotary wise you would have to do it the, the normal way but here I will use the rotary function on my vise so then going up with just putting down all the dubbing here and as you can see this fly looks quite overdressed for now and this is exactly what we want then bring up the wire and we'll do open spiral turns about five or six should be enough then once you reach the thread tie it off and then we can break the wire and here for now the fly really looks like nothing but once we brush out all the stuff in here it will really come to life and dubbing in my opinion should always be used this way and here you could leave your fly just like this and it would make for a nice little brown trout streamer but I would go just a little bit further and add the CDC color as well to do this I'm going to use the magic tool from Marc Petit Jean and this is really the best way to get the most out of your CDC feathers so here what I've done is I've put down a thin coat of dubbing it's the exact same dubbing that I used as the base for the body and then what you do is you take your CDC feather you bring all the fibers out 90 degrees from the stem this one is a natural black color and then I've pushed it through 
the magic tool and trapped it here in the clip. And then as we have the stem exposed we can cut it off and we're left only with the CTC fibers and the dubbing here. To tie this onto the fly I'm going to use the split thread technique, spin your bobbin counterclockwise, then with your dubbing needle uh, split it in two, insert the CDC and dubbing mix, spin the bobbin clockwise again, this will trap all the fibers and core the thread. and make it for this nice CDC and dubbing chenille and then the last thing to do is to build up this little collar here and for each turn I like to pull back all the fibers and here what I really like about this nano silk is that it, for each turn you make here right in front it sinks down right behind the bead and you don't even see any thread I'm going to add just a tiny drop of glue onto the thread and whip finish right behind the bead. Pull tight and cut it off. And now we can go through with our velcro again to brush out or to mix all these materials together. And here we can see that this shimmery dubbing here in between, it's really enough to give this nice appearance but not to overdo it. And once this fly is in the water, the CDC fibers will really move and give exactly this lifelike appearance you want for your streamers. And this one here is tied on a size 12 hook but you can go much bigger, but I like to have quite small streamers for small streams. My target is always to get the big grayling, so this is what I will use this summer to really try to catch the big one. So there we have the CDC streamer. Thank you for liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.